great Monday evening. Hope you had a wonderful second day of March momentum. I don't know if you realize that this month's name is the only one of the whole year that is a verb, right? It's an actual word that means movement, momentum. We got to be about the business, right? These 31 days that the Lord allows us to experience each one of them. We are in Psalms 147. And look, if you are sad, if someone has disappointed you, if someone betrayed you, if you are hurt down to the bone, the core of your heart, hmm? Psalms 147 verse 3, God, our Lord, our Father, healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds your wounds, our wounds. So we know that Jesus went on the cross. He was wounded for our, our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are what? There you go. That's part of the healing. He heals the heart. He heals the physical body. He heals the emotions, what's in our mind, soul, spirit, whatever. So, Let's move on. Let's go on in the name of the Lord and be victorious in that healing, in that victory, because we just don't need to waste time being stuck. Amen. And in Psalms 147, sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praise upon the harp and the Lord. We were talking about the happiness that we receive, right? The the pleasure and the gladness and the joy we receive. Well, the Lord taketh pleasure and joy in things that we do. It says in verse 11, the Lord taketh pleasure in them that respect and fear him and love him and put him first in those that hope in his mercy. We trust in him. We're looking to him and to no one else. Yeah, he loves just like a, a, a parent, you know, once the child to come to them to, to receive all of their needs supplied, right? Physical needs, right? Well, the Lord taketh pleasure in his children to come to him. We are in Proverbs 2 because today is the 2nd of March. And remember when we were talking about Philippians 4, 4 today, rejoicing in the Lord. Again, I say rejoice. Well, you know, there are people who rejoice not in the Lord, but they rejoice in foolishness. In Proverbs 2, verse 14, and this reminds me of the people out here who are doing the smash and grabs and the crashing and the, the craziness with the Uber, you know, inside violating women and all that. It's just craziness. It says in verse 14, who rejoice to do evil. And delight in the frowardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked, and they froward in their path. They're violent. They're doing ridiculous stuff that is glorifying the enemy. So how do we protect ourselves? When wisdom enters into our heart and knowledge is pleasant unto our soul, then discretion shall preserve us and understanding shall keep us and protect us from that evil out here, from that ridiculous uh, element out here. So let's make sure that we are secure. Our paths are protected by the Lord and that we are fearing the Lord at all times. Okay, let's rejoice in his faithfulness and have a great evening. Good night.